have somebody come drive this over? Can I get somebody to drive this over? It doesn't matter who called. Doing this way, everybody can see it. Anybody can call about it. Oh my now, god. Call about it doesn't matter. The fact that somebody saw that, it goes out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Freedom of speech. If you keep that up, sir, you will be going to jail. Do you understand? Give me, your Give me a reason. What, Give me your what crime about you mean? Yeah! Hello, guys. As you've noticed, many rare videos appear first on my channel and then they get stolen by bigger ones. If you like my channel or want to support me with even $1, I would appreciate it if you click the thanks button. Thank you and let's get started. Oh, Alright, wait. You're being recorded. What's your name and badge number? Okay, that's fine being recorded. Name and badge number. Well, listen, let me tell you why we got called here. Okay. This is my scene now. Oh. I'm Deputy Cruz. Really? Deputy Cruz? Yeah. Do you have a badge number? What you mean? I'm Deputy I Cruz. need your badge number, please. Listen, listen, brother. I'm a taxpayer. You're okay. a public servant. You have to give your name and badge number. Okay. Call listen. in your supervisor. If you don't I'm believe me, I am a First Amendment. I'm a supervisor. I, Okay, you're the supervisor. the supervisor. Your name is what? Deputy Little, so Montgomery County Sheriff. Please, back up off me. Back up off me. No, sir, you're not going to do this. To you. I have civil rights. You want to talk to me? You come over here and talk to me. Okay, you came to me. No, sir, you came up to me. Come over here and talk to me. No, they came up. Okay, I will talk to them. I will not take no directives. I have a First Amendment right. Okay. When I see cops not wanting to introduce themselves for whatever reason, I realize the situation is not going to end well. If you come in peace and don't plan on breaking the law, what's the problem uh, with giving your bitch number? Yeah, please, okay, just calm down. please don't come at me. Listen, listen, you came listen, to my listen property. To listen to me. Your mouth is going to get your ass in trouble. Oh, really? Yeah, you've been drinking. Another violation. You've Go ahead. Damn, you've been damn drinking. And this is my scene. We can call the person. This is my scene. Is you that against the law? To, and I'm that, trying to be respectful to you. Drinking. Now, now you got. Now you had too much damn alcohol in your system. Is that no, Mac. You are assuming. I, I can smell it. Yeah, I, I don't give a damn what you smell. <laughs> you came to my property. I can do what the hell I want to on my property. Okay. That's my First Amendment right. But I got caught here, so now this is my okay. Scene. Yeah, Joe. All right. Now, if I heard that you were kissing on the street corner. Would you be in trouble because I heard hearsay? Okay. You got called here okay. on hearsay. Okay. No, 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 no. You got called here on hearsay. Let's do it. Stop, stop. Can Two minutes into it. To him. Hey, Sir, people, listen to me. Can I here we go. ID? No, you ID? cannot. All right, well, you're about to go to jail if you don't give me ID. They come onto a man's private property, don't want to introduce themselves, and start threatening. How would an argument like this end? I think you have already guessed uh, that the cops will attack the man. Oh, really? Oh, Here we go, that. another one. Fair. Hey, Just get ready to bail me ID. out. You hear me? You're going to buy. You're going to. Failure to give your ID. quality immunity. Your 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 immunity. No, qualified immunity will not stand up. One more time, man. I will. Flip. Give him your ID, ID, man. My ID. Flip. Just no, give you cannot. All right, you're going to jail. Give me ID. Okay, under what okay, suspicion will reason? Because give me an article. Give me your ID. Give me your ID. Give, give me your ID. Give me a reason. What, give me what crime have I committed? Hey, 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 get your You know very well that you should not answer the cops' questions and give in to their manipulations. Otherwise, it will end uh, in arrest. Let's see this uh, in the example of one man who is sober. But the cops always try to accuse him of being drunk. This is going to be my second DUI checkpoint. It is Saturday, July 30th, 11.06 p.m. Rolling up to the checkpoint now. Signs all over the place. Looks like I'll get waved in now. Sir, how's it going today? Pull down the one a little bit further down. That's fine, I can hear you. Bring it down for a second, please. I can hear you. All right, sir, hey, listen. Bring, it, bring your window down. I can hear you just uh, fine. You want me to get you out of the car? Do I need to get out of the car? Well, I'm trying to talk to you. I can hear you. Okay. Where are you coming from today? I don't answer questions. Okay. Any alcohol today? I don't answer questions. Okay. Well, I'm trying to figure out whether or not you've uh, been drinking today, okay? I understand that. It's an easy process. If you haven't had anything to drink, perfect. You'll be out of, you'll be out of here in no town. All right? Kind of holding up the line here. Am I free to go? Not yet. Am I being detained? 
You're not being detained. He won't answer questions, won't get out of the car, and he has a right to do so. In such a case, the cops have only two options. Either let him go legally or arrest him illegally. In this case, they were forced to let the driver go. Okay. I want to make sure that you haven't been drinking today. I understand that. You can, sir, you can make it easier, easy on yourself or hard on yourself here, okay? You're, you're, uh, Do you suspect you're, me of committing a crime? What's that? Do you suspect me of committing a crime? Well, that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay. All right, sir. Get out of here. I hope I got that. Let's look at the similar case with the same man, and if I understand correctly, it all happened on the same checkpoint. Okay. Is this the last one? Or first one? Do you have your license on you? I do. Can you grab that from me real quick? How are you doing? Good man, how are you doing? I'm just gonna give you one of these pamphlets. We're handing them out to everybody. It's just about uh, DUIs and how costly they can be, okay? Gotcha. All right, wait, have you anything to drink today? I don't answer questions. I think I might smell a little bit there. And your eyes are a little glassy. Why don't you go ahead and step out for me real quick? How much have you had to drink today? I don't answer questions. Okay. So what I'm going to do, since I do smell it on you a little bit, and your eyes are a little bit uh, glassy, I'm going to have you go over to the second area and we're going to... Just do a few field sobriety tests and get you on the way. Okay. Sound good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna have somebody come drive this over. Go ahead and step Can I get somebody to drive this over? Right here. Alright. So come with me. Thank you, sir. This time the cops made him get out of the car and arrested him even though he was sober. When they got their hands on his phone, they immediately turned off the tape, but luckily we can at least see in their faces and show them on YouTube. Oh yeah. I see you recording your phone. Do that, okay? You wanna you wanna leave this phone in here? Oh no, I'm gonna take that with me. Yeah. Hey. There you are. Just so you know, your video's on. It's recording. Yeah. Oh okay. Here we go. There you go, sir. Thank you. Just so you know, I'm audio. If you haven't seen my video yet, how an Uber driver came and saved a man from being arrested, I recommend you watch it on my channel. Today will be uh, the second of the same case, but unfortunately, the woman was not so lucky. I'm good. Did you call 911? No. Okay, because someone called saying that you were getting beat up. Ew. Who would do that? Um, were you with someone? I'm from New York. I don't get beat up. I was... That's disgusting. What? <laughs> what? Really? I'm just waiting for Uber to get home. Right. Well, when I'm told that someone was beating up a white female in a white dress, and you don't have any shoes on... Do you, do you really think I would put up with that? 28, 1970. I'm not driving. I'm going to my hotel room. I'm not driving. <sighs> okay, well... Listen to me. You're intoxicated. Yeah, I'm going. One to more, I'm going to go ahead and take you to jail. Do you understand me? It does not matter. What? You are out in the public area. You're intoxicated. That's ridiculous. Go ahead and lock her up for me. Go ahead. What? You're under arrest right now. For what? For disorderly disorder. Angelo. Do you have a, an idea on you, sir? I'm oh, sure. I have an idea. Look. Um, I do feel that I did nothing, Carol. Talk with us. So you can talk, talk to me. Why is she being apprehended? She did nothing wrong. She's Jesus Christ. What is going on here? Here's my idea. Look. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. That is wrong. Well, I don't know what she told them. Okay. So I don't know if she's refusing to identify herself, or she's giving false information. She's, she's probably combative, but... Is she drunk? Has she been drinking tonight? We both have, okay. but I don't think that merits anything for her being well, hogtied right there, please. I understand this is one of the ways cops fabricate the arrests. They come to the street where um, uh, there are bars, look for people who just got out and are waiting for an Uber, and then arrest them uh, for being on the street uh, drunk. Please. Well, once we get her... In a spot, oh my God. our supervisor will come over here and talk to you because that's who was talking to her, was she, our sergeant. She okay? does not deserve to be hot dogged. We have a hotel room, she can come into here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jesus Christ, really? The hotel in public. It doesn't matter who called. We're oh doing God. this where everybody can see it and anybody can call about it. Oh my now, God. Who called about it doesn't matter. The fact that somebody saw that, they called you, described you, we found you. Hey, y'all are doing some shenanigans out here, right? So we're out here to talk now, to y'all. Allegedly, out. right? And allegedly. That's why we're conversation with allegedly. Right? So we gotta talk to people that haven't seen stuff out here. Allegedly. Yeah. I wanna keep that clear. Allegedly, right? That's not how it works, man. Did so you did you observe anything going on over here? I, I but I saw my girlfriend with four officers putting her down and tying her up. That's what I, I saw. Like they found some sort of crime. I wasn't here for that. But no, these folks, yeah, they probably put her handcuffs and hogtied. That's what we do. So if we do. I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Okay. All right. Yeah, we don't hold time. Like okay. you said, I'll be on video. Can't we do it? I'm sorry. That, that's what you saw, but we didn't. I, do I have no problem with the police. I love you guys, but this is f up. This is f up. Hey, what's up? Yes, sir. 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 This man was arrested because he wanted to save his girlfriend from illegal arrest, but he admitted that he had been drinking too. 
I wonder why these tyrants didn't arrest him earlier because uh, he's also in a public place under the influence of uh, alcohol. Doesn't this whole situation seem absurd to you? It's not gonna be this explorer, but it's gonna be the Tahoe right there by that stop sign. Yes, sir. Really, guys? Really? <sighs> but you all want to listen to the homeless guy there? Really? Um, this is weird. You guys are ridiculous. I've done nothing wrong. You gonna put me in jail? I got employees to do tomorrow morning. I gotta go to work tomorrow morning. You wanna put me in jail and remove myself to get an Uber? You're ridiculous, sir. Where are you guys for me when those homeless guys are there jerking off in front of my salon? So I can't be there tomorrow for my employees to watch over them because Dunwoody's not there for me at all. And I donate to Dunwoody and I donate to Brookhaven for the police. I will bring this up to the counselor. I will bring this up to the mayor. I will bring this up tomorrow. You book me, this comes up and I will fight. And I know everyone, everyone who called it on, who called it in? The homeless guy? The one that pisses on my business. Really, man? Really? You're going to book me? How about him? The one that pisses on my business. So now you put me out of business as he walks free and pisses on everything. You're ridiculous. And in the next video, a man pointed out to the cops that they had parked incorrectly. And they started laughing at him, feeling impunity. But uh, when the man started to communicate in the same manner, they started to get aggressive. Can I see who's, whose car that is blocking the sidewalk? Then there was another one blocking the middle of the street that everybody has to keep on going around it. Look. But if you can see, there's parking perfectly. Everybody's parked perfectly, but that car and this guy. Yeah, sorry. Don't worry, ma'am. I didn't record you. I'm recording them for their, for your safety. <laughs> you laugh. But what's going on everywhere, everybody's saying that cops are killing people, but you laugh. It's funny, right? That cops kill people. You're funny. It's funny, right? But when, the, when that turns around on you guys, and everybody gets frustrated and mad, ain't nobody gonna say what's up to you? You think they're gonna say what's up to you? Oh, come on, man. You know better than that. It's funny, though, how you guys laugh about that, and then when it goes around, turns around, you guys want to make a big deal about other things. Yeah, when it goes around and turns around. Same shit, right? You got the shot? And that's the dick that parked right there probably. What an asshole. That, that, you parked right there too? Friends, write your opinions in the comments. I think we have a lot to discuss and anyone who wants to support me, I ask you to send how much you can spare by pressing the thanks button. This channel exists only because of you. Aren't you scared that your wife's probably getting at home? Cheating on you? Be careful because you know what? There's a section 4151 PC of the penal code. You pick that up and that's what you'll be going to jail for, sir. For what? Freedom of speech! That's what I've been doing this Freedom time. of speech! If you keep that up, sir, you will be going to jail. Do you understand? So you, I'm giving you I a suggest warning. you back up from me. Knock I feel threatened. You know what? I feel then you threatened. Need to walk away. I feel okay? threatened, sir. Please I'm back allowed away. to walk. You're in my personal then space. Walk away, sir. You're in my personal walk space, away, sir. Then, sir. You are threatening me. So I suggest you. Walk How did away. I threaten you, sir? Tell me. We could argue that it's on your video. You could show it to the judge. Oh, this is this is live streaming right now. That's fine. What law am I breaking, sir? Since you know everything, what law am I breaking? You You're. You're pretty much in my personal space. And what is that? If I was in your personal space, that's you would be all hostile. You would be all that's mad and mad. I heard that you guys get divorced in a lot. Like 75% of you guys get divorced because because you guys have spousal abuse or or because you guys are hated in your own house. Your own kids hate you guys. You know, that, that that's all I hear. That's all I see and hear. So, I mean, you know what I mean? Why would you have to get a license plate number if she hasn't done nothing? She didn't do nothing to you, bro. Get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Get out of here with your... Thanks for watching, I think there were very hot and interesting videos today. I will be grateful to you for your support, for subscribing, for your every like and every comment. Videos are released every day, so click on the bell to not miss. See you tomorrow.